Congresswoman, you voted to extend unemployment benefits. However, we all know handouts are not the solution and add to the debt. We also know unemployment does not pay the high mortgages or costly medical premiums. But my unemployment, she writes, just ended and I want to work. What I want, what I need is a job. What is your plan to create them? Well, thank you for the question. I think that's one of the most uh, important questions and I'm certainly hearing about it everywhere I go. You know, I'll tell you what I will do. I strongly believe, as I said in my opening statement, I believe in the power of the individual, not the power of the government. I believe that a smaller government is better. My opponent believes that a bigger government is better. What I will do is to continue to fight to get government out of the way of the entrepreneur. The small businesses that make up the backbone of our economy, I will continue to fight to get government out of the way. But I tell you what I won't do. And I won't so support something like Obamacare, which my opponent uh, uh, supports. Obamacare is a job-killing piece of legislation that will have nothing to do with providing jobs. It's going to make it so much harder. It is a big gobbledygook piece of legislation that is thousands of pages long. Buried deep inside, there are things that, that the little businesses need to know. Little things like if you, if you have a, 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 an invoice or you do business with a contractor, $600 or more, guess what you're going to be doing? Filling out a 1099 form for each and every one of those contractors at the, the end of the year. What this president and, and my opponent's party with their belief in job creation is to grow the size of government. They're going to grow IRS agents to do the Obamacare. They're going to grow uh, people who are going to oversee their financial regulatory reform bill. But you know, that does not help these people this, that this lady is talking about. I'm going to continue to fight to get government out of the way, off of their backs, and let the entrepreneur uh, spirit flourish once again in America. I so strongly believe in the individual. You know, I was brought up, my role model was my, my grandmother who was widowed at the be very beginning of the Depression, and I know how hard it was for her. She is my role model to this day, and I will continue to fight for small businesses and for everybody who's out there looking for a job, get government out of the way, and quit growing the size of government where our children are going to pay that bill. Mayor Pugnier. If my opponent truly cared about helping small businesses during the massive government bail uh, bailout with no string strings attached, she would have demanded that credit fell and went to small businesses to open up their credit lines, which is still part of the reason we're not on the road we should be. And of course, she continues to, uh, and just the other day, she doesn't want to close these loopholes for foreign corporations to hire American workers. Absolutely uh, unbelievable. I do have a plan. 80%, 80% of the jobs created in this country are from small businesses. You have to focus on small businesses. I will provide access to capital, tax credits, and tax incentives to hire and reinvest in our technology and our training to get people moving again.